Hello my beauties, how's everyone doing? If you are new here, my name is Zoneza and I welcome you to my channel, Life with Zoneza. Here we talk all things femininity, beauty, lifestyle and style, you name it, we are on it. Hopefully you'll see something that you like here and become part of this fast growing family by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. And of course, welcome back to my lovely beauties. We recently reached 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for the unwavering love and support. I also truly appreciate the fact that you are always reaching out to me via my Instagram. And of course, if you are not following me there, please make sure to follow me. I'm at Zona underscore za. Thank you so much. Here's to tens of thousands more beauties. On today's video, we are talking about seven simple steps into finding your own personal style. This video was inspired by a pertinent question on my Wholesome 30s videos. There, I made a point about coming up with your own personal style. A lot of you beauties were asking me, how does one find her own personal style? And true to my nature, I'm coming back with a more detailed response to this with examples to help you unpack this situation. <laughs> Before we go into helping you determine your own personal style, let's discuss all the different styles that are out there that one can pick from. First up, we're looking into the Bohemian style. Here you see flowy fabrics, you see prints that are more on the floral side and earthy tones. This look is mostly for a lady who likes to live life with the natural flair. Someone who likes things like gardening, you know, picking up flowers, that easy looking feel. And you will see flowy dresses, flowy skirts and tops, that kind of vibe. This is a beautiful style and it comes in natural colors, neutral tones. And you definitely find it on the countryside type of vibe or anyone in the city who still loves that kind of vibe. Someone who likes more relaxed setups. It is a beautiful style. If you find yourself having gone for these kind of looks, then it's definitely your style. Also, you have the more feminine looking style where you will see a lady going more for structured dresses and figure hugging looks as well as the colors that are more aligned to the feminine style examples like your pinks and your satin flowy dresses that's another beautiful style that you will see a lot of ladies rocking and of course you will also see the more parisian simply stick look that some ladies will put on this is a style that i also love it's more on the minimalist side of things sticking to the basics in the wardrobe like your t-shirts blue jeans flat shoes brogues that kind of vibe sometimes it tends to have a bit of a masculine feel to it with some elements that if you add or remove you will get that feminine touch into them you will see neutral colors like your whites your beiges your grays in this kind of style add some red lipstick because remember when we're talking style we will also include the grooming that is most likely to be aligned with that particular style and looking at another different style i'm not putting these in any form of structure or matter of importance but i'm just giving you an outline of all the different styles that i see now we're gonna look into the more bougie style where you will see beautiful high heels lovely dresses and more trendy sets for me i feel the bougie style is more closer to the trendy style where you will see all the top trends also keeping to that feminine flair some people will say it is the instagram model kind of style when we're talking bougie and this is also in line with labels certain brands that are aligned to it it is another beautiful style of course when we're talking brands we can also include some inspiration for those kind of brands but the style itself is more inspired by the upper class upper more scale more brand conscious style that for me is more of the bougie side 
course you also have the more sporty type of vibe and feel at leisure ladies rocking sneakers and maybe sweaters and crop tops that's another style that is quite popular and obviously the more rocker chick kind of vibe which is characterized by biker jackets kind of vibe and the chunky boots dr muttons and dark hair as well there is silver jewelry like your spikes and all that and of course there is the modern eclectic style this one you will see different prints and patterns being mixed together nicely you will also see color blocking those bold colors mixed together this i feel is a modernized form of the eclectic style of dressing i really do draw a lot of inspiration from ladies who do this one it's one of my favorite you also see a mixture of textures as well now basically that's a few of the styles that i can think of when i talk about signature all these i've just mentioned just to give you an idea of what it means to have a signature look now to go to the first point about coming up with your own personal style i always say we start with what's already there you look into the pattern of all the things that you already have been buying now this helps you determine what exactly it is that you like that is authentic to you because i understand you wouldn't buy similar items if that's not really who you are and when you're elevating your look and coming up with your own style it's not about ditching everything that you are and starting this whole new look that everyone deems to be the classic look for example for me when i decided to Put in a bit of work into how i dress i did look at the favorite colors that i already wear and the kind of combinations that i like for example i do like my pants and tops i talked about this on the community button and a lot of ladies were saying they like that combination as well so for me that is definitely something that i like even though i did take a decision to become more feminine i was not gonna drop all of that however i did tweak a few things here and there in terms of the shades and colors that i wear of these two combinations for example in your wardrobe you may have some dresses flowy dresses that could be your style the only thing now that you can do is own it you're not trying to change who you are but if there are some elements that need to be updated then you will go into that so to sum up this first point you have to look into your wardrobe and do a thorough audit of all the items that you have this will give you an idea of the things that you like helping you to be more intentional now when you buy to make sure that you keep to that style and update whatever needs to be updated of course during that wardrobe audit you are not only looking at the items that you wear often only you also take a look at the items that you have bought and not worn and that tells you that those are not the items that you truly like you may have bought them because they were trending however it's not your personal style so please make sure to get rid of them he said either you sell them or you give them away but we're not keeping anything that we are not wearing anymore the second point to look at when you're coming up with your own personal style is your lifestyle are the clothes that you want suitable for the lifestyle that you're currently living and lifestyle i mean the activities that you take part in and most importantly what you do for a living because most of the time we spend a lot of time in the clothes that we go to work in because let's face it most of us spend about eight hours in the office maybe that may have changed where you are because of COVID-19 but generally a lot of people spend a lot of time at work so now is your wardrobe suitable for the lifestyle that you're living for the job that you're doing that's a very important point a quick example before i expand any further on this today i'm not at my house i had to quickly pack last night for us to come here because there is load shedding i packed this shirt a pair of jeans and comfortable shoes which is basically how i dress most of my days because i have to consider the fact that i must run around i must pick up my kids from the house to the car and all this and i also have to keep in mind that i must film a youtube video 
which is part of what I do for a living. I must also shoot some pictures for my Instagram. And after filming this, I have a Teams meeting with my nine to five job. Now with my outfit, I haven't had to change anything. It has accommodated all these things that I have to do in terms of comfort and the look and you know, just keeping within that same flow throughout the day. This has been suitable for me. I then have to lower or elevate anything about the look. It has suited everything that I've had to do. So the same applies to anyone. Does your wardrobe accommodate what you do for a living? We obviously can't dress the same way. Comparing me as an everyday regular mom who's working mostly from home, compare that to someone, for example, a musician. They can't dress like I do, an artist can't dress like I do. They have to elevate a few things that I didn't have to. They don't have to wear heels, they may have to wear heels. So carving your own style has to do as well with what you do on a daily basis. This is a uniform that I've come up with for myself so that I can quickly jump from one commitment to the next. For example, if I had a meeting outside of the house or outside of the hotel now, I would just put on maybe a pair of heels, tuck in the shirt into the jeans. So your style has to really accommodate your day-to-day -day life. You don't want to have a situation where every morning you have to dress up, you have to scratch your head in wonder and look around. Having that standard idea of the lifestyle and what is suitable to carry you through the day. I am saying this being mindful of the fact that some ladies have to wear uniforms at their workplace, so you are exempt from this one. I would say maybe consider around the area of shoes. If you have the liberty to change around the shoes, then you can look at your style in that particular way. Obviously, if you are wearing your uniforms, then you are most likely going to go for the more neutral makeup look and more demure hairstyles that will be suitable for your uniforms as with most of my advice this is not set in stone it's just my own personal experiences and observations so if you find anything trivial or like you feel like it is so obvious you can just you know give it a pass <laughs> looking into the next point however i just need to remind you to please like this video if you found the first two points useful in any way so the third point to look at is your body I am not shy to say this. I know a lot of people feel like you can be whatever, but personally, I feel it is important to consider the kind of body shape that you have and carve out your style in such a way that you will buy items that will flatter your figure. I'm always of the view that though clothes are meant for everybody and all that, but for my own personal comfort and confidence, I would rather go for items that flatter all my bits and pieces i don't want to have to prove a point that i'm confident weigh something that i have to you know be bold for and pretend to be something i'm not just so i can look like i am bold i'm not for that because for me i feel when i do that i come across as trying too hard i don't mean you have to be critical to yourself and you know be so judgmental just focus on all your good points that you feel comfortable in buy more items that will highlight all these parts that you feel need to be highlighted I will always make an example with myself I don't like pointing fingers at other people for example for me I'm not shy I always talk to you about areas I'm not comfortable with for example my tummy I'm not comfortable with my tummy after having all the kids I've had it's not looking as nice as it used to so I'm not trying to go out there with crop tops showing my stretch marks just to show that I am confident. Now I like to cover that up. I'm not saying this is a rule for everyone. This is for me. I feel like you don't always have to jump out of your comfort zone. Don't do anything you're not comfortable with. I still love my legs. I love my shoulders. 
course i still love even my tummy but i just don't feel comfortable showing it so i'm more comfortable showing my legs i love my legs i love my shoulders you will see me showing those one of the things that i like that i would love to wear are more suitable for the slimmer frame these are clothes that are of a bigger volume and more layering now to help modify this to suit my particular style i will cinch in the waist or i will show my ankles which are parts that i feel are still a bit slimmer otherwise i will look way big and without shape if i'm just to throw on all these big items though that kind of look may look great on a slimmer lady that's definitely not the style for me it is important to accentuate all your great parts to find that great balance looking at inspiration either on social media which is like your instagram and your pinterest and your everyday people seeing people who have similar features to yours and seeing how they dress this will help you a great deal when you carve out your own style i always look up to girls with the similar skin tone as my own when i look at the kind of makeup to wear and the kind of hairstyles to rock this really helps me i will not be copying to the t everything that they are doing but it helps me to shape the kind of look that i want to go for and the same goes for my body structure and the colors that look more suitable to me so the point here is really about looking out for inspiration have a pinterest board where you pick up all these the looks that remind you of you that speak to you and have a collection of all these items try the different looks here and there and see how you feel and how you look it really helps i am a big fan of this and you may have seen a video earlier where i showed you some of my pinterest inspired looks of course the inspiration is not always about your skin tone or your structure just generally looks that speak to you looks that pick your interest i highly recommend looking for inspiration please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment and now to look at the fifth point on this video you need to consider where you are in the world which part of the world are you living in this will help you really decide on the kind of style that you are dressing for example, in winter, I spoke about how warm it is where I stay. Now, this helps me even as I'm shopping and preparing for the season. I know for sure what to buy and what not to buy. This overall speaks to as well as the lifestyle of that particular place. For example, it is so easy to notice here in South Africa, someone who is based in Cape Town. I don't know for some odd reason you can see their style they have a beautiful more bohemian vibe and more sportish look i don't know this is the vibe that i get i could be right i could be wrong but it's a personal observation so where you are will help determine the kind of style that you dress you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb <laughs> and of course i'm sure this is also linked to the lifestyle as well of the particular place that you're in so where you are will really help you decide it's being determined by the weather of the place and the lifestyle of the place so generally the style in the smaller beach towns or even bigger beach towns and the more inner city vibe are very different so it is important to carefully watch the area that you're in and see what suits you in that particular space i did make an example of the parisian style where, however we know that globally people do like that style so it is more of an adaptable style of dressing but obviously island girl style and city girl style would never be the same because the weather and the lifestyle is different so coming up with your own personal style also has to do with where you stay 
Another thing about where you are is also the mode of transport that you end up using. So I know in some parts of the world, you find that public transport is used by a lot of people. So obviously, if you know you're going to be hopping from one train to the next or taxi to the next and walking a few kilometers and all that, you obviously have to consider the kind of shoes that you buy that are going to be more dominant in your wardrobe. So definitely geographical location also does shape your personal style. The second last point that we're going to look into is taking the moment to sit down and determining the kind of woman that you want to become, the kind of woman that you overall want to look like. Because in some instances, you will find that currently in your wardrobe and the way that you groom, there isn't anything connected to the woman you want to become. Now, in this instance, you have to start over from scratch and decide exactly how you overall want to look. You start with your research then. Why do you want to look a certain way? Why do you want to carry this certain image to yourself? What do you want to communicate about yourself? You start from there. And then you identify the kind of clothes that this woman is most likely going to gravitate towards. You look into these, whether you look at them per item or per outfit. Now this helps you carve out this idea of the woman that you want to become. Now I'm not going to say to you what you should aspire to because our aspirations are all different, but it helps to know exactly the kind of woman that you want to look like. For this one, you may want to look at a specific person. You can even look at a certain celebrity and look at how they dress when they are casual, how they dress on the red carpet and how they dress for things like more formal dinners and lunches. That will give you an idea. This will be determined by you liking maybe the career path that they are in and wanting to go more into that line. But now you are becoming more intentional with observing who they are and carving and shaping this woman that you overall want to become. You can do your research, look into the makeup that they wear as well, look at the structures that they tend to go for, and you will come up with that. You can look into personalities on your social media or whoever really that you look up to, but with that specific intention of dressing more like them because you want to live a lifestyle that is very similar to theirs and achieve some of the things that they have achieved for themselves and definitely how we dress and how we groom ourselves say a lot about how we feel about ourselves and where we want to go in future the reason it's important to have your own personal style it makes your everyday dressing much easier and your shopping a lot easier as well for example you can shop on any website if you already know the kind of pieces that you are more into and how you like to put them together you can simply log in search the item pay item without your judgment being clouded by other things that you are not looking for for example for me a lot of people complain about Shein being fast fashion but in my previous two videos that with items that I bought from them I did find find items that were more suitable to my style which is more on the feminine structured side as you have seen and the shirt that I'm wearing right now these are all to my style but when you first log into the app you will see a lot of trendy items so having your own personal style helps sift out everything that you're not into and finds you specifically what you love this also helps you save money to not buy things that you will not wear, you know. When you have your own general look and feel that you know you are going for, it makes things much easier for you. Now, last but certainly not least, I highly recommend that you look at colors that look beautiful on your skin. I know a lot of people, when they're talking about effortlessly chic style, 
they will always advise that you get neutral colors you go for beiges and whites not everyone loves these colors but sometimes you see that we are being bombarded with this idea that if you're wearing beige from head to toe then you are chic i highly recommend looking for colors that look good on you if that beige looks great on you then go for it however you don't have to be in neutral tones from head to toe to be standing out to be looking chic and elegant have some fun with your looks enjoy the clothes that you wear don't wear anything that will make you feel confined this way you'll be able to stand out maybe in the beginning wearing neutral colors from head to toe made people stand out and you know look elevated but personally i feel like style should be of an individual's interest so don't try to look like everyone don't be the uniform enjoy your colors be eclectic be fun just consider all the colors that look great on you for me i've seen some colors that i feel i don't look so pretty in this one however i'm not gonna lock myself down to saying this is the only color that i'm gonna dress in i'm always exploring looking out for colors that will look stunning on me without compromising the look that i'm trying to go for for example i don't feel so pretty in red i did wear something red just last week just you know just having playing around however you won't see me in a lot of red clothes that's just not my color i love colors that are more on the lighter tones they just generally look good on me i highly recommend checking the colors against your own skin to make that decision another color that i'm not really crazy about against my skin is maroon especially on tops i just feel like these colors just wash me out whereas i love pinks i love yellow i love green olive green those are all the colors that i've found to look really great against my skin tone and the color of my eyes now before we close off with this video just to show you how practical this is i'm gonna give you a bit of a homework using all these points that we touched on today i'm gonna want you to take some time off your busy schedule to do that wardrobe audit find all these items that you wear more often than the others and the ones that you wear really few just coordinate them put them on one side that should give you an idea of where your style is going and look into all the instagram accounts that you follow and the pinterest accounts that you have liked in the past and the nice thing about pinterest is that all these things that you have searched contribute towards what you will see on your feed so look at the most dominant looks that are on your feed that should give you an idea of the things that you are already interested in and from there take the time to determine the kind of body shape and structure that you have and your height look into specifically people that have that same shape and look at their outfits see how they have put together their outfits and look into the outfits that have picked your interest if these items fit the lifestyle that you already are living and where you are as well also consider the colors in which you have all these items and then put them all together and compare them with the woman that you're working towards becoming see if there's a beautiful harmony going there if there isn't then look at all the areas that you need to tweak around and if you pass that exercise you have found yourself your own personal style to take it even further see where your style fits in all the different style concepts that i discussed with you if all these items do not fit into any of these things that i mentioned please do share what that style is maybe i didn't touch on it when i talked about the different styles that we were looking into and with that we have reached the end of this video if you have not yet subscribed please make sure to subscribe so that we can see each other on the next video thank you so much for watching bye and god bless you